So this is literally going to be the intro to my video. Um, I thought that I would do a nighttime routine for you guys, um, because I've done I think two morning routines in the past, but thought that I would do a nighttime routine for you guys because I haven't done one of those. So I have just gotten home from work. As you can see, I'm in my work clothes. I am pretty tired actually. I'm really hungry, exhausted, but I'm very oily as well apparently. Anyway, so I just wanted to quickly say, I think I'm going to be talking most of this video instead of doing a voiceover. Like I want to talk to the video to you guys, but some of it might be a bit of a voiceover or just music playing and showing you guys what I'm doing um, but pretty much when I get home um, it's pretty rare for me to have a night where I get home right after work um, and if I do I'm doing cardio or um, filming a video or something pretty much never will I come home from work and um, not be doing something so today I cleared my schedule so I could film this video for you guys. So yeah, as, as I said, I'm in my work clothes, but the first thing that I normally do when I come home is just unpack my work bags. That's not very exciting, but then um, as quickly as I can, normally I get sidetracked, but as quickly as I can, I will grab my PJs. So we'll do that now. Um, I will grab my pajamas and I will go have a shower. So I have my PJs, I'm gonna go have a shower. Um, and then I'm just gonna show you guys what I do, like my, skincare routine didn't even think you can call it that so now that I'm in my PJs um, I do kind of like sort my face out so now I would be lying if I said I did this like every single day of the year all year round but right now it is like crazy dry weather um and it's been really irritating for my skin so i actually have been doing this um first every night what i do actually always do is just brush my eyelash extensions um i do this every morning and every night just to make sure that they're nice and combed through so another thing that I do every night is make sure that um, all of my makeup is off. So I just use the micellar water um, and a little cotton round thing. Um, and I do take most of my makeup off in the shower with a like makeup washer. But I always have some left over um, on my skin anyway. So I always just go over it, especially if I have any glitter on. Um, like today I had glitter in, um, the little, what is it called? The little corner of my eye, I guess. Um, so it kind of goes everywhere when I do that. I don't wash my face again then. Um, I just let that kind of dry. Then after that, um, so there are two things that I do every single night. But, because like I said, it has been really, um, <sighs> windy and dry and just really skin irritating weather um, I will put on my lip balm so I just use the um, pore pore ointment uh, this is good for so many things but I mostly just use it for lip balm then I will put on this is also something I never really do um, I could not do a dedicated video to just a skincare routine because I don't actually have one really the one moisturizer i do use is this clinique um turn around it's actually a daytime moisturizer but i like it for nighttime it's really moisturizing i find my skin not to be dry at all in the morning um it's actually super dry at night so um my skin is the opposite normally in the mornings actually so i really like this because it's supposed to be like a day revitalized cream but i like to wear it to bed at night um so i just pretty much spread that around my face i've been using this particular one for the past few days just because um like i said it has been really dry weather so i've been trying to find something um that is really moisturizing and this has been really great after i put that on um i will also put on some body moisturizer um this one this isn't an expensive one i don't think um that's what the label looks like. It is roseberry and patchouli. Patchouli. Um, I will mix up between different ones though. I really love the Body Shop moisturizers. Um, I don't know what it is. Just like recently, I've just been really, really obsessed with like 
apart from skincare, obviously. Well, I, I want to get into it, but um, just like body moisturizers and smelly things, even candles. Um, this past few weeks I've just been like really into it. I don't know why, but I just have oops, a little bit of a flex. Okay. So yeah, it's probably good. I should I should be putting on moisturizer every single night because of my um my tan, but I honestly only do it when I feel really dry. Put that all over. Um, and then I do have a specific cream that I actually do use this a lot as well because my hands, if they feel dry, it's frustrating. So this is, I'm going to butcher the name, but I think it's Natio Aromatherapy Antioxidant Antioxidant Hand and Nail Cream. Um, soften and dry, softens dry hands and smoky. But it's really really nice and it leaves your hands feeling so soft love it i do also love doing face masks now as well um i have a couple here that i haven't tried yet i'm not going to do it tonight just because i like to do it when i can sit and relax and have a bit more time um but i am going to show you guys how i do my eyebrows um now i do my eyebrows probably once or twice a week um pretty much just tinting them um Last time I did my eyebrows on camera, I shaved half of them off. So yeah, that was a bit exciting. Pretty much, if you haven't seen that video, what I use is the um, Tattoo Brow, Maybelline Tattoo Brow. Um, is it gel tint? So I use that. And to clean up my eyebrows before I use that, I use this little facial razor. So you can do your whole face with it. I did mine just the other night, so I'm not going to do that now. But um, I also did my eyebrows. So uh, pretty much I just go around my eyebrows and shape them. As you can see, I don't have very full eyebrows. Um, I tend to fill mine in quite a bit when I wear makeup. But I do like to put a little bit of tint on them. Um, especially if I'm going to be going a couple days like over the weekend without wearing makeup. I do like to put on some tint just because it's so quick and like why not? So I'll show you guys how I do that. Um, so pretty guys, it's pretty straightforward. Literally just paint it onto your eyebrows in the shape that you want. And then make sure you have like a little um, makeup brush or something to clean up the edges. So this is what one looks like with the tint on. Um, I do peel back this part like halfway through drying. I kind of peel back the front, um, sorry, beginning of my eyebrow just because then it's a bit lighter. I don't really know if it does anything, but I like to think it does. So this is what my crazy eyebrows look like now. Um, and then I just keep all of that in this little pouch and chuck that in my drawer. Then another thing I do every single week, I'm, I don't always do this on the exact same night, but normally I do because it's just a night that I have a bit of free time. Um, I will cut all my fingernails because my natural nails, if you guys have been watching me for a while, I had fake nails for a really long time. Um, and I actually ripped one of my natural nails off. So it's growing out. If you guys want to look how cute it looks, Brayden says it looks like Mega Mind. Um, obviously I can't have fake nails, but my natural nails, I cannot like let grow or be uneven. It just is so gross to me. Like I don't bite them, but, um, I cannot deal with them being like this right now is gross to me. I'm just not a fan. So I cut these and don't freak out. I'm not just letting them snip everywhere. I'm collecting them in a pile so I'll do that and then I'll put on some little clear um, gel polish and then I'll also do my toenails trim them and repaint them with um, this pink nail polish and I know a lot of people do their nail like toenails especially and leave them and leave them until like you know how not like you always see people's toenails and they have like this much like nail polish left because you kind of just paint your toenails and then leave them I have a really weird thing and I hate that, so I paint my nails literally every week or twice a week sometimes, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come show you guys what I do with my hair. So why my eyebrows are drying and my toenails, I think my fingernails are dry now, it's just the clear polish so it dries really quickly. Um, I am going to make sure that I have, have everything ready for the day tomorrow. So if I'm working, obviously I like to have my work clothes ready. Um, but if I have something on early in the morning, I also like to make sure that I'm packed for that. So I'm not like, don't have to wake up early and I'm not rushing in the morning. I hate rushing and I always am. So I try my best not to be, um, as much. So, um, 
I just have my backpack and pretty much so tomorrow I have a lot of stuff going on so I'm just gonna be packing stuff I'm doing a little fun run tomorrow so I'm gonna be wearing that so I'll keep that out actually so I'll pack my things into my bag and then leave that on the floor for tomorrow morning so everything is ready and I don't have to stress about finding clothes or whatever um, and then so I was also going to straighten my hair um, but then I decided that I wasn't going to so I'm not gonna do that so there's not really that much else to show you guys um, I will peel this off soon and I've chucked my socks back on because my um, nails are dry now so Pretty much what I just do now is head downstairs, make sure my meals are ready. Um, some nights I'll be editing a video. If it's a Wednesday, I will be editing a video. Um, but apart from that, I'm normally at the gym a bit later. But when I eat my dinner of the night, I always relax and watch something and make sure everything's done for the night so I can relax. Um, but yeah, so I'll go heat up my food and then have that. Um, probably watch Desperate Housewives or something and then that's about it for the night um, Head to sleep and then wake up for a brand new day But yeah, so if you guys did enjoy this little insight into my life, which I hope you did um, Make sure you give it a thumbs up this video That's down and um, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I do post a lot of other different type of content um, I'm also four weeks out from a competition. So if you want to follow my journey to the um, fitness competitor stage then subscribe I'll show you as well what this looks like so it's not just like a teaser leaving um, leaving you guys not to find out so yeah <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video and I really really hope I see you in the next one bye